guys, my name is Hannah Partridge and today I'll be doing my practical personal training video. I've arrived 15 minutes prior to my client's arrival. I've just checked all the equipment that we'll be using and looked for any potential hazards and everything is good to go. I've taken into consideration of the members in the gym and I'll not interfere with any of their workouts. I've got a session plan ready to go but first I'll just have to do a health check with my client. Hi guys, I'm here with my client Sam and before we proceed to our workout, I just have to do a quick health screening test. So Sam, have you ever suffered from any heart conditions or strokes? No. Um, have you had any explained, unexplained pains in the chest? No. no? Um, have you ever suffered from any spills or dizzinesses? No. No? Have you ever had an asthma attack? No. Uh, do you have a diabetes? No. Have you been diagnosed with muscle groin or joint problems? No, but I have had surgery on my right knee due yeah. to an injury, but at the moment it's not too bad. Yep, I'll just jot this down just in case, yep. but I'll take that into consideration during your workout. Sure. Um, do you have any other medical conditions that you need to talk about? No. No? Yes. Okay, that's great. So. I've got your workout planned out, so what we'll be doing, we'll have a strength test, a cardio test, and then a variety of different exercises, and then from there I can write you up a program and we'll just see where you're at. Sounds good. Sounds good. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> now that we've just done our health screening test, I just want to do a flexibility test with Sam. So Sam, I just want to see where you are with flexibility. Sure. So what I want you to do is I want you to try and touch your toes. What I want you to do is I want you to keep your knees locked in, yep. and I want you to slowly go down. I want you to touch your toes. If you can touch the ground, that's good, but toes is good. Sure. And then slowly come back up. Okay. okay? Is that good? Yeah, my flexibility is not the best. But no, that's I'll see fine. how I go. Oh, well, that's not bad. That's good. So, what we're going to make it your aim to try and touch your toes. So, what we'll do is each day, probably for 30 seconds, it's good to hold that stretch. So, sure. Like I said, go down, 30 seconds, hold, yep. and then back up. You'll feel it in your hamstrings, but after a couple of days, it'll get easier and easier. And then in two weeks' time, we'll drop that down and see where you are. Sounds okay. good. Cool. Now that I've done my flexibility test with Sam, I'm just going to go through a strength test with him. I've got three exercises for us to do. One will be a chest exercise, one will be a back exercise, and one will be leg exercise. So first we'll do our chest exercise, Sam. Okay, so Sam managed to do that quite easy. So next session that we do, 
I'll try and up the weight for him to make it a bit harder and try to connect to his back muscles a bit more. But for now, that is great. Is that right? Okay, so for our final strength test, we're going to do a leg exercise. What I'm going to do is a squat. Now, Sam did mention in his pre-exercising test that he has knee problems. So I'm not going to put any weight on the bar, and I'm just going to watch him and make sure he has the correct technique. And if his knee does hurt, we will stop doing squats altogether, or we'll try and do bodyweight squats to try and strengthen up the knee, and then we'll go up. Okay, so I'll just do the correct technique. There is a lot to a squat, so you've got to get your back straight. Okay, your legs shoulder width apart and the feet into the ground. So we'll grab the bar, put it on your shoulder blades, we'll hold it back. And what you've got to do is like you're sitting down onto a seat. So try and go as low as you can, all the way down, and then back up, push as far as you can. Slow down, push up. Does that make sense? Yep, sounds good. Now just let me know if it hurts your knee. Yep. Put all my hands about. Yep, about there. Yeah. Make sure your feet are shot all apart. Yep, ankle straight. Just go down. That's really good. Now back up. Good. Down. Back up. Does that make me? Just do five for me. Three. Yep. Four. Good. Five. It's really good. So Sam just goes quite easy. Does that hurt your knee? It feels weak, but it feels okay. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll keep it at the bar for a couple more sessions, and if it starts to feel better, we'll put more weight on, but if not, we can always put more on, take more off, and just see how it goes. All right. So yeah, yeah, good. All right, good. Exercise, I'm just going to do a cardio exercise with Sam. I've chosen the treadmill, I just want to make sure Sam's familiar with the treadmill. So with this Sam is an incline on this side and a speed on this side. So what I want to do is we're going to start. It's always good to have a good incline on. And what I want you to do is just to slowly walk for a bit to warm up. And then when you're ready, just press number eight, and it should go to a slow jog.
Okay, so for our final workout, I have a circuit training. So we're going to be doing some boxing. Mm -hmm. You're familiar with boxing, I'm familiar you? with boxing, yes. Okay, so I won't take you too much technique, but what we're going to do is we're just going to do 10 straight punches. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're going to do 10 uppercuts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then yep. we're going to do 10 pulls. 1, okay. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then So you get a better workout if you bring your hips and your body into it. Okay. So I want you to do three rounds of that. Okay. So okay. Three rounds? Yeah. Okay. for the day. Sam did an awesome job. We'll just have to improve on some things, get some things better and go from there. Awesome. Fantastic. Thank you very much. So now that we've finished our workout, I'm just going to go through a couple of stretches with Sam. The first one is going to be for your pectoral major. So because we did the chest press today, it's going to help prevent injury and help loosen up your muscles. Sure. So the first one I'm going to do is you're going to put your arm up to a 45 degree angle up on the wall. Yep. You're going to pull out and you should feel it through your chest. So what I want you to do is 30 seconds one side and then you swap to the other side, same thing with the same arm and pull out the other way. Sure. Okay, can yep. I Can you feel that? In yeah, that's yeah? good. So what I want Sam to do is I want him to do 30 seconds each side. He can repeat this a couple of times if he needs, but 30 seconds should be good. And then we'll awesome. the other Yeah, that's really good. Alright, so that's the first stretch done and the second stretch is going to be our hamstrings. We did do squats and that is leg involved, so I'm just going to do hamstrings. You know at the beginning when we did our flexibility test? Yep. It's going to be very similar to that and that will help with your flexibility test to get um, lower. So what you're going to do is just try and touch your toes, hold it for 30 seconds. Sure. After a while you should be able to even go push down a little bit further yep. after you let it go. Yeah, that's really good. Can you feel that in your hand? Yeah. yeah. Yeah? So then after a while, sometimes you loosen up and that lets you push a bit further. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so that's our workout and stretches done for the day. Did you enjoy your time? Yeah, I had a good time. Awesome. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about special populations. The first one that I'm going to talk about is clients with lower back pain. If your client does suffer from lower back pain, there are a couple of things you do need to take into consideration. One will be avoiding all deadlifts and one will be avoiding weighted squats. So with my client today, we did do a squat with a barbell on the back. It would be best to remove that barbell and just do a body weighted squat. Another thing would be showing your client a couple of exercises to help strengthen the lower back and during every other exercise, you should make sure your client does have a straight back and has good posture. From then on, you can start help strengthen the back and then start adding weight so to help your client in the future. Hey. Okay, so another thing I want to talk about is hypertension, also known as high blood pressure. Now, if your client is suffering from high blood pressure, you do need to take into consideration a couple of things. One of those will be no exercises with rapid pace changing, as this can affect their heart. Another thing is make sure your client is always breathing and they're not holding their breath at any times. Also, make sure your client doesn't do any exercises where their arms or their legs are above their head because this can put a strain to the heart. I would highly recommend for your client to listen to their body and make sure you know if they're in pain and listen to them and stop exercise immediately if they're feeling any pressure on the heart. Okay, so the final thing I want to talk about is knee injuries. Depending on how severe the knee injury is can depend what you can and can't do with your client. So just say your client has more of a major knee injury, I would say suggest cutting out most leg exercises for a while, but doing stuff that can help strengthen the knee. I'd suggest maybe going on a bike or going on the cross trainer, and I'd suggest stuff such as the resistance band to help 
strengthen up that knee. I would give my client a few stretches to do to help him feel comfortable with the knee and after a while I'd suggest maybe using machines instead of free weights. If my client has less of a knee injury but still feels sort of pain in the, the leg, I would suggest not doing any weighted exercises. I'd suggest body weight stuff because this can help strengthen the knee. I would also suggest resistance band to help strengthen the knee and machines. Uh, after a while, once it's strengthened up a bit, I can say put on a bit of weight but try not to go too low because this can bring strain to the knee. And I would also suggest going on a bicycle to help strengthen the knee.